all right y'all okay so literally earlier i was like all right bet i asked y'all what to yap about y'all told me to go ahead and do uh what's it called somebody said talk about the chokehold that margaret had on mordecai as well as talk about mordecai and cj's relationship and i was thinking because yo loki i was cooking i was cooking in the studio i was cooking and then i was like dang bro that's a that's a lot to talk about like y'all are making me talk about more complex characters that got deeper storylines than gravity falls and i'm sitting here and i'm like bro i'm not gonna lie the reels can only be like a minute and 30 seconds what do i do do i make a part one and part two will that even be enough for all the information and then i thought first youtube video idea loki loki i'm thinking about naming this series ayana's yaps so let me know if i should for real name it ayana what is that is that a cut on my hand is that a burn mark what is that let me know if i should name it ayana's uh yaps for real because like i know a lot of y'all be in my comments so like, ayana yap we need more yap Yes, yes. But let me know if y'all got any other uh, ideas by any chance. Well, y'all already know to yep. I gotta stay. I gotta. St I gotta stand up. I gotta. St I feel like the pacing really helps me get the yep out. Helps me deliver the said yappery. So, yo, did my guitar just fall? So, anyways, we're finna get straight into it. Like, yeah. All right, new video, new angle to yap. Now I'm letting y'all know I am in fact finna go crazy right now. Y'all messed up putting my favorite show up here for me to talk about. Now for starters. Mordecai sucks! Assuming that y'all have already watched the show before. The show basically talks about relatable issues in the most unrelatable situations possible. I don't care what nobody says, bro. The love triangle between Mordecai, CJ, and, and Margaret, it did not have to be that bad. It did, clearly for entertainment purposes, because you know, it is a show, but man. I don't know how y'all are gonna feel about this, but this is just my opinion. Margaret, was one of the characters I liked the least. I'm sorry, I don't care what you gotta say about it. Like out of all the characters, she just had the least depth to me. They dry made Margaret like the most basic and uninteresting character in the beginning and they just made her bad. You're not finding the appeal of her character unless you're a bird furry. But I don't like how she was so basic for the large portion of the show and they dry wanted to get for that little smidge of the personality whenever CJ came around. Like bro, don't do that. Don't, don't try to make it seem like CJ got competition. She don't got competition. CJ and him got along so well. She was so easy to love and he over here starstruck on bird booty over here who got a whole new seven day free trial boyfriend every week are you serious see all she had was bird booty and that's what's wrong with you man now y'all don't know how to leave <laughs> Let me stop playing. I'm just projecting right now. <laughs> For real though, people really tried to dry hate on CJ, claiming that like, oh, they broke up because she had anger issues. Woo de woo. But let's be so for real though. Who really wants to see their new man? being all friendly and close with their most recent ex who was in a relationship with them for a while and was in a mean a nasty depression after they broke up who you i didn't think so the only thing that i don't excuse though is her almost accidentally killing them and shorty's dad i feel like that was kind of uh that's a little od there but you know i feel her i, I would have did the same i would have did the same if i had to be so real for like a genuine second even if certain situations between mordecai and margaret were taken out of context whenever cj seen it he really shouldn't have put himself in the predicament for the situation to be misjudged because a lot of those situations like yeah whenever she's seen it it wasn't what she thought it was but to be so for real if you seen it from afar you would have thought it was the same thing guys perception is real i feel like mordecai and cj would have worked out if margaret never came back but that's just me though yes don't get me wrong it's definitively his fault that things went the way that they did my most humblest opinion Margaret went to half of the events that she went to because she knew Mordecai would have been there. If she would have simply minded her business and went along about her day only hanging out with Eileen, it would have been fine. But no, she went to certain places because she knew that Mordecai would be there because she wanted to because she wanted him knowing he had a girl. I don't even feel like Margaret and Mordecai would have genuinely been canon anyways. That little friends date episode whatever that is they literally got to see in the smoke cloud of the hibachi they got to see the uh the, um they got to see their future bro this is literally what they see they see them happily in love financially stable with kids in a happy home and they thought it was repulsive what y'all are the problem they had literal literal disgust 
on their faces because they see themselves happy and successful. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. What more did y'all want to do to get? I don't, I don't get it. Then what irritate, bro. <laughs> what irritated me the most, and I, I think, I'm pretty sure this happened before the situation I just said, so I'm sorry, that was a little out of order. During the Christmas party episode, Mordecai finally had that one speech to where he stood on business. And guess what? <laughs> Literally said, oh, shorty, I'm straight without you. I don't need you anymore. I got a girlfriend. And then directly after they broke the situation, he kisses her afterwards. What? CJ sees the kiss. She gets the freaking out immediately. Storms out. I don't blame her at all. <laughs> I think what kills me the literal most about this is that Mordecai had an entire another chance after this and blew it again. In a, in, a, in a way that's somehow worse than the one I just listed. Bro finally gets another chance with CJ because he literally took a bullet for her. He ended up making this little cute necklace and whatnot that had the initials on it. Whoop de whoop. Okay, so cool. You got another chance. Good for you. Not only did he fumble it and it was really embarrassing on CJ's behalf, but he messed up his homeboy's wedding his wedding literally during the best man speech for muscle man's wedding with his shorty which they're happily ever after together you want to go over there and take the mic during his special day to break up with your girl bro i'm not gonna why can't you like he broke up with her out of nowhere all because he was like no nah, i'm not gonna lie low-key I'm really not the dude for you, shorty little time. I'm not even gonna lie on you on the foot a little too. Like, bro, are you serious? You took that bullet for what? You took it for what? But CJ deserved better because that was such an embarrassing moment for her. And then it's worse because, bro, that's literally your homeboy's wedding. He said, not cool, bro. Like, did you, in case you forgot, this was not about you. This was about your homeboy and his shorty, bro. You did not have to mess up his wedding because you wanted to be indecisive over which shorty you wanted, even though it was clear which shorty was better. <laughs> I'm lucky getting two press behind the show, bro. <laughs> to conclude uh, today's video of said yappery, um, it was never Mordecai and Margaret. It was never going to be Mordecai and Margaret. Even in the end, they didn't end up getting together. You know why? Because it was never going to be Mordecai and Margaret. It really should have been him and CJ, in my opinion. She was the best love interest out there. I just didn't like the fact that he inevitably ended up using her as a rebound, which sucks because she never gave rebound material, I'll tell you that. Even whenever she got upset, like, yes, whenever she did get upset, she got extremely upset, but she had good reason to get extremely upset. The only thing that I can say is Rigby and Eileen were canon. I love them. They're unstoppable and they're taking over the entire planet. They were great. Nobody was topping Rigby and Eileen for me other than Muscle Man and Starla because their relationship was nasty. Other than that though, please feel free to let me know in that comment section uh, what's it called, more like shows, episodes y'all want me to do. Actually, honestly, let me know whether y'all want me to start reacting two actual episodes because some of y'all are telling me to give y'all reviews on shows I haven't even touched. I haven't even laid eyes upon these shows yet. So yeah, please let me know and I can start reacting to actual uh, videos if if I don't get copyright. I need to, I need to make sure that I don't get copyrighted from um, from some of that because I have one in store but I'm, I'm not sure if I can post it. But yeah, either way though, it was nice yapping with y'all. Let me know in the comments once again if whether y'all want me to name it Ayana's Yaps or if y'all got a different name suggestion for it. And on God, and I'll talk to y'all later. Toodles.